So that's Blueface Grandpa, feel me? The family, uh, the family went to the court date today. You know, as y'all might have not knew or, you know, probably did know, Blueface had court today to see if he was going to be released. And, uh, the family showed up, man. Even his sister, Callie. Shout out Callie, man. She be on, uh, Baddies doing her shit, man, representing for us well. We be having some good representation on Baddies, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, for what that's for. Yeah, man, but we got the grandpa, he kind of like breaking shit down. I guess he was, I don't know, man, they trying to, you know, because they both in jail right now, Chris Sean and, and Blueface, right? So I guess they trying to figure out a custody situation. And so I don't really know. I ain't even going to lie. We about to hear about it. Let's see what's going on. Do not, I have right here Blueface's grandfather, Carlos's dad. Can you introduce yourself for the camera? Yes, my name is Keith Harvey. I'm from Georgia. Keith Harvey from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Very nice meeting you. You're an OG. You look professional. I'm glad that you're here. People say you look like a, you know, like you're ready to go and win a case. <laughs> I, I've been doing this for 30 years. Okay. Okay. So, uh, real quick. Um, so, earlier today, you got into it with Bodine involving the uh, grandkids of yours. And I'm just trying to clarify uh, because Bodine has been very supportive of your grandkids. Uh, and... You know him got into a little spat about that. Can you give me uh, more information as to why there's a conflict? Sure. First of all, this is not the place for children. Second of all... Hey, uh, Grandpa, uh, face Grandpa looked like Charleston White. And, and Dean, though, I ain't gonna lie, Bo, Dean has been there this whole time. Like, I, I, he a familiar face, and he's been standing on it, though, but still, he, you know... You know how this shit go, family. A seven-year-old boy should not see his father come out in a jumpsuit. I mean, that's going to stick with him for the rest of his life. And as far as the gentleman, Bodine, to speak to a grandfather about his blood child and being a total stranger and to offer an opinion is totally disrespectful. And off, what, what's a better word? It's just, I'm going to just use disrespectful since I'm here using that. And to not know anything about me to suggest something as stupid as to say she couldn't afford a babysitter to bring the kids here to court, to me is just unrealistic. And the overall approach of this situation concerning my grandchildren and behavior of Blueface, Jonathan, of his mother, of his grandmother and everybody that's surrounding him seems to be neglecting the children. I right, so I'm gonna say this so every Okay, so as you see you see what he, he kinda upset that Jaden must have brought the kids to the court date and seeing face like that and he basically saying ain't no excuse man why you couldn't find a babysitter or whatever had you it's out no. Everybody can hear me about mines, I'm down all the way, whether it's children's services or Supermax Prison. I'm here today to see what's going on with Jonathan, but also to see what's going on with my children, because this has gone too far. For her to even bring these children here is a total insult to the system. It's an insult to the judge, and it weighs negatively in Jonathan's favor, because no judge is gonna look good on a black man standing here with his son in the audience looking at him at a jumpsuit. So, as far as I'm concerned, and I don't care how Jonathan feels, his mother feels, his baby mama feels, or anything else, this is a case for children's services. The whole situation is a case for children's services. Let me ask you a question about yes, that. Um, like, you know, 
all family and good family, blood thicker than water. We all hear that. So, Bodine has been in your grandkids' life. Again, you're talking to me about someone who I never met before in my life. So you're asking me to trust someone with my grandchildren and my grandson with an individual who I know nothing about. For him to approach me and have a conversation about my seed. This is my seed who I fed and gave my life to take care of, for someone to even address me and have a conversation concerning him is disrespectful. All right, you said it. I appreciate you, thank you so much. And, and uh, appreciate you. yeah, man, so y'all get the gist of it. Shout out Gramps, man, kinda, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it, it is, I, I can see where Dill coming from, although he might be uh, slightly overstepping his boundaries, he have been there. He had been supporting and making sure whatever, but I guess he uh, uh, deal. I mean, Dean, his his whole disposition is uh, getting CPS involved and the government involved any more than they is. You see what they doing? The blueface is 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 some diabolical shit. So I I kind of don't agree with the Gramps on that shit with the CPS and all that shit. And he owns some Charleston shit a little bit. All respect, Gramps. You know, saying his face, Gramps. We gotta respect that. Right, but also, and then, and then, as far as like, uh, um, it was something else. Okay, uh, uh, as far as the judge, right? Not, not, you know, I, I guess I, I don't know. He might have a point with that because the judge might see it like, okay, he don't, he don't look at face, you know, if he, especially if he ain't skin for, he probably looking at face like, let me, let you know, he probably could use this, this with the kids being there, it being a son. He could probably use that opportunity to make an example further out of face and, and instill some, some fur, you know what I'm saying? Instill some uh, uh, fear into the sun. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, look what we doing to your daddy. You better know better. You better not ever. You understand me? That type of shit. So, if the, the you know, Gramps might have a point with that. And, and I don't know, man. He seemed like he he's slightly versed in, in, in uh, the law a little bit, but... See, that's what I be saying. It's kind of like, you know, it's a tricky situation. I, I can't say I don't agree with the CPS, man. Child services getting involved. and I mean, but he know better than me. It's, you know what I'm saying? He, he closer to the situation than me. But still, I just feel like the system got all type of, you know, all type of flaws and shit. Long story short, though, face court date then got pushed back to the ninth. So we're going to see if they don't let him out then. It's like, man, they trying to keep a hold on him. But, you know, certain little shit that didn't didn't transpire to with, in the joint ain't making it no better. So it's like, bro, nigga, need to just be cool, bro, so they can let you out that motherfucker real quick and get back out here to the street, man. Get some son and shit, man. Feel me? I wonder, because they were saying, and they were saying Chris Sean, too, like like the ba that baby, him, him and Chris Sean, baby. That is some custody shit, and, or they were saying they lost cuz I don't know. Feel me? But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hopefully they get this shit all together, man. It was, it's been a lot, for sure. <laughs>